hi there everyone. Welcome to a little special video here on Geektopia Island. Here we're going to be opening up fat packs of Rivals of Ixalan. And here with me is Kevin. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, but before we open it, we would like to go ahead and reveal the winner of our pre-release uh, uh, kit given out. Because uh, we did a review of the set of Ixalan. And uh, it was a Takeo Gaming. Uh, he, we asked you what your favorite card is of Magic of all time. Mine was Daybreak Cornet. Mine is Phage the Untouchable. And uh, this gentleman's card was Moat. Yeah, the original Moat from uh, Legends. Uh, I mean, pretty know powerful it. for a four-drop enchantment. It's yeah. pretty awesome. Non-flying dudes don't attack all day. Yep, seems good. So thank you for entering that, and I hope your pulls were very awesome. Yeah. Now, Let us know what you get, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. With that, let's get to it. All right, guys. Here we go. As you can see, it's a little. We had to cut it open so we don't look so foolish here. But well, we're gonna go ahead and rip that up first. Of course, this is a cute little dice box that comes with all the fat packs nowadays. It's not too bad. Although I do miss the books that came with it and the fact that you actually got two boxes from the old sets. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. Of course, your standard book. It tells you everything. All you need to know about all the cards. And now, the fat pack itself. Let's do this, Kevin. Let's do it. As you can see, opens up, comes with a little dice box, a little box inside, which is awesome, and a lot of packs. Let's get with it. With that, standard land, which is pretty awesome for all starting Magic players. Go ahead and separate these. Bam. It comes with two boosters, which is pretty nice. Uh, for the for the good old cost of 40. But here we go. First one. Let's see what we got here. Trying to make sure. Bam. Alright. First. Uh, Spire Winder. Four drop. Flying. Ascend. Two, three. He gets plus one, plus one if you get City's Blessing. And if you notice, if you play him limited, he's a snake. So anything with pro dinosaurs or whatever, you don't have to worry about. Nice. Next. Uh, Brazen Freebooter, 4 drop, 3-3. Three, three. You get a treasure when it comes in. Not too bad. Of course, we're going to slow roll these commons. If we see any extra ones, we'll go ahead and skip past it. But Divine Verdict, 4 cost, destroy target attacking and blocking. Not too bad. Dust Charger, 4 drop, 3-3. Three, three. If it has a sin, gets plus 2, plus 2. Jadecraft Artisan. I really don't like this card at all for a 4 drop, 3-3. <laughs> three, three. Comes to play it, two, uh, another creature gets plus 2, plus 2 until in a turn. Blah. Fathom Freebooter. 3-drop, three 3-3. Three, three. Uh, if you don't have a pirate when he comes and play, lose 2 life. It's, I like it in limited. Grasping Scoundrel for 1. 1-1 uh, one, one common. He gets plus 1, plus 0 oh, as long as he's attacking. So he's pretty good. Uh, Overgrown Armor Sword. Costs 5. Pretty awesome limited bomb. 4-4. Four, four. Whenever it gets hit, gets a sapperling. Water Knot. Uh, good old blue control aura. Enchant creature they get tapped they can't untap squire's devotion uh enchant creature gets plus one plus one lifelink and enters the battlefield you get a one one really good limited stormfleet swashbuckler our first uncommon here two two ascend and if you have ascend city's blessing and gets double strike not too bad sadistic sky marcher uh vampire soldier two two for three and he costs extra if you don't show a a vampire, flying lifelink, meh. Uh, Dead Eye Brawler, two four death touch has a send, cost four. Uh, player, he deals combat damage to a player. You can draw a card. And then our rare is a Champion of Dusk, five drop four four. Enters the battlefield, draw X cards, and you lose X life where X is the number of vampires you control. I this pack super sucked pretty much overall, <laughs> and I do not like that card at all. I don't know. It's all right. It's very. What if you're almost dead and then you have five vampires and you take five life? Uh, you don't play him. Death. The force. Yeah, of course. And uh, vampire. All right. That's the first pack. Come on, Kevin. Give me. All right. Get something better. We're gonna get some going with the the Angrath and see if he does any better for us. Yeah. All right. First up, we got a Sun Crested Pterodon. Five drop, two five flyer. Has vigilance as long as you control a dinosaur. Uh, the next one we got is a sailor of means. 
Three drop, one four comes into play. Get a treasure. Pretty good. Pretty good. We've got a swaggering Corsair. Here's the three drop, two two. Uh, it comes into play. You get a one one counter as long as it's attacked, or as long as you've attacked this turn. Legion Conquistador. Let me go get my Legion Conquistador. Yep, all day. Moment of craving. Uh, target dude gets minus two, minus two. You gain two life for two mana. Very good. good. Very good. Luminous Bond. Pacifism. Uh, all day. Crappy pacifism, but good. Shh. Get him <laughs> limited. Do work. All right. Colossal Dreadmaw. Six mana for six, six trample. Kind of meh. He wanted to run away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next up is a Dark Inquiry. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card, they discard it. Not too bad, limited. Yep. Soul of the Rapids. It's a 5-drop, 2-3-2, two, two, flying hexproof. I play this unlimited. He's a bomb. He's yeah, awesome. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, we got one of the lands. Foul Orchard. Black Green Uncommon Land. Little, little Dinosaur. Cherished Hatchling. Uh, when it dies, all dinosaurs in your hand get flash and fight. All good. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, next up is a Reaver Ambush. Exile target creature three or less with uh, for three mana. Yeah. We got a Bishop of Binding. Dude's pretty hot. I like him a lot, actually. Four mana, one ones. Comes into play. Exile target creature and opponent controls until he leaves play. He gets a plus one, plus one for X is the power of that creature. Yep. And target Vampire. You can target him or another dude. That's pretty good. But and yeah, you probably want to target him. <clears throat> we got a Foil Highland Lake. Ooh, for first Foil. And then that Huali token. What? Yeah. Not too bad. I'm pretty excited about that rare. Yeah? yeah. It's a pretty good rare. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Uh, this art already made me super sad in the last pack, but let's do it. <laughs> Hopefully this one's better. Uh, first one, River Darter. Cost three. Can't be blocked by dinosaurs. Not too bad. Uh, next one, three drop. Frilled Death Spitter. 3-2 Enrage. Uh, when Enrage triggers, deals 2 damage to target opponent. Not too bad. Uh, we've already seen that guy. We've seen that guy. Uh, this one we have not seen, though. 2-drop Hardy Veteran. He gets. He's a 2-4 as long as it's uh, your turn. Not too bad. Strider. Harness. 3-drop uh, Equipment, actually. Plus 1, plus 1 in Haste. Equip with 1. Uh, limited card. We've seen that guy. We have not seen this guy, though. A Relic. 3. It has a Send. Taps for any man or er, colorless mana. Apologize, and you can tap, sacrifice it, gain three life, draw a card if you have City's Blessing. Gruesome Fate. <laughs> I like to test this out in standard. Uh, cost three. Each opponent loses one life for each creature you control. For good old Abzan tokens, that'd be pretty fun. Secrets of the Golden City. It's uh, it's a man draw spell for three. If you have a sin, you draw two or three instead of two. Imperial Ceratops, 5 drop. Uh, Enrage hits, you gain 2 life. He's a 3 5. Now, this guy is a good a good find here. Merfolk Miss, uh, Miss Binder, 2 drop, 2 2. Other Merfolks gain plus 1 plus 1. A good old lord. And uh, one of the good uh, forerunners here uh, for pirates, though. Go, go search your deck for a pirate. Put it on top. When pirates come enter the battlefield, they lose a life. Not too bad. And this guy, I don't like him, but everyone will hate me for it. Kamina, cost three, legendary. As you can see, his text, he has a lot there. Uh, two, four. He does things. He, he does a lot of things when you tap merfolks when they should be attacking. And to accompany with him, thankfully, <laughs> is a merfolk. Yeah. All right. Next up, we got another Spire Winder. Yep. Everybody's, y'all seen it. We got an Araska Raptor, 3 4 for 4. Yeah. Vanilla Dude. Yeah. We got the other one, Moment of Triumph. Yeah. So one white target creature gets plus 2, plus 2, and you gain 2 life. We've seen this dude before. Yep. Um, an Araska Frillback. It's a 4 2 for 3. All day. Yeah. Uh, good old Shatter. I mean, it's just Shatter. <laughs> good, good, Killing good things. sideboard card. Water Knot. We've seen that guy before. Uh, we got a Gleaming Barrier. It is two mana, zero, four Defender. When it dies, you make a token, a treasure. Uh, Strider Harness. He just got one. 
Jungle Born Pioneer. Three mana, two, two. Make a one, one Merfolk with Hexproof. Yeah, not too bad. Oof. With that, we got the Forerunner for Merfolks. Yeah. Sage her Merfolks, put it on top. When dude comes into play, put a one with counter on him. Probably the weakest, I will say, of the yeah. Forerunner, sadly. Curious Obsession. It's one of the really good enchantments of the set. Very good. Chan Creature gets plus one, plus one. When it deals damage to a player, draw a card. Um, at the beginning of your end step, if you have if you didn't attack, you sacrifice the enchantment. Yep. Oh, Sworn Vampire. He's two mana, two, two. Comes in play tapped, and you can cast him from your graveyard as long as you gain life. And Trap Draw Tyrant. Yeah. He's good. Needed that guy. Uh, Enrage removes dudes. Five mana, five fives. And a sapling token. Oh, look at that. Also need that. All right. Next one, guys. All right. We have the vampire. I'm not sure what it... Oh, that's the... Actually, I have no idea what he does. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sanguine Glorifier. Four drop. Then here's the battlefield. Put one one counter on target vampire. Not too bad. Sea Legs. A cute flavor card. One drop. Flash. Enchantment. Uh, enchant creature gets plus zero or plus two as long as a pirate. Otherwise, minus two, minus zero. Sun Collar Raptor. Two for one, two. Trample. Pay three. He gets plus three. Plus zero until no turn. Next we have Naturalize. Good old destroy target artifact enchantment. Pretty solid. Next one. Uh, Dusk Legion Zealot. Two drop, one, one. Uh, basically, yeah, comes into play. Draw a card. You lose one life. Elvish Visionary. That's what I was trying to think of. He's a vampire Elvish Visionary. Haunt the Week. A reprint. Four drop. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target dude. Then fight. Swan Guardian. He's a 1-3 for 2. Isn't that not too bad? The good old 6-6 six, six beater. The crappy pacifism. The let me take your stuff from your hand card that we've seen. But this one. As you can see here. Cost 3. Add one mana of any color of your mana pool. You can sack it to get a dino from the graveyard and put it to your hand. Not too bad. We got another uncommon here. Uh, land. Produces blue or red. Comes into play tap. We got the best card of the whole set, of course. Ravenous Chupacabra. The best rare uncommon in the set. Yeah. Four for a 2-2. Two, two. When he comes into play, destroy target, dude. Opponent oh, you control. Day. You don't even have to destroy one of your own, just dude, in case. so good. Comping with it, he's actually better than the rare in the set. <laughs> Rassus Bounty costs seven, and it's pointless. We don't want that. Hey, Revel and Rich is all day. All day, if I'll you can get there. And flavor wise, it comes with a treasure. So hot. Pretty hot. Thank you, Fat Pack. You're full of flavor. Not full of good rares, so though. So apparently, my side? Yeah, Kevin's yeah. side's way better. Kevin's side's side. better. Just FYI. Two, two to zero <laughs> right now. All right, uh, next pack. We got a Sun Sentinel, 2-2 two, two for 2 with Vigilance. Yeah. Sailor Means, we see this dude before. Sun Collared Raptor, you know, Done. little dude. Knight of the Stampede, Dinosaur Spells cost 2 less, 2-4-4. Two, four, four. Not too bad. Recover, just good old Recover, yep. everybody's favorite. Plummet, Killing Flyers. Yep. Snubhorn Sentry, 0-3 with a Sin for he, 1. He's like the pugs of dinosaurs. Yeah. He's yeah. so cute. A Martyr of Dusk. Uh, two two or two one for two. When it dies, you make a one one. Pretty good. Amazing and sealed. Yeah. Impale also amazing and sealed. Yeah. Great limited. Uh, Jade Bearer makes a counter on a one one, on another Merfolk. Strength of the pack, making two one counters on each creature you control. Yeah. Good old Polar Raptors everywhere. Yeah. Uh, Needle Tooth Raptor. He's a two two for four. Thin Rage deals five damage to creature and opponent. Really good and limited. Sadistic Sky Marcher is a 2 2 for 3. You've seen him. Yep. And then Slaughter the Strong. Each player chooses the number of creatures he or she controls, power 4 or less, then sacks the rest. Extre uh, remember, the total of power 4 or less. Extremely good. That, that card's amazing. Oh, a total power yeah, 4 or less. Yeah, exactly. That's the key word that everyone's missing right now. And a City Blessing. Yeah, nice. That's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Of course, we got the spitter that we're opening up right now. Let's see. Let's see if Kevin goes 3-0. Or 3 to I, 0.5. I got a Chupacabra. I was like, I'm 3-0 right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I got a Chupacabra. I got 0.5. That don't count. <laughs> Crashing Tide. 3-drop. Uh, it gains flash as long as you control Merfolk. Bounce a dude to their hand and draw a card. Pretty good. 
Stampeding Horde Crest. He has haste as long as you control another dino for 4-4 four, for four, 5. Uh, reprint here. Raptor Companion, a 3-1 for 2. We've seen the hunt to week. Oh, here's the snake. Can block this dude all day. Uh, 2 drop, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, basically, he has dino death touch. Is what we're calling it. The worst art in the whole set. Aggressive <laughs> Urge, cost 2. Plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. Draw a card. And who doesn't love good old Traver Traveler's Amulet? I, I like the art on this one, I think, more oh, than yeah. the other ones. I love that card. Uh, pay one, sacrifice, go get a basic land, put it in your hand. Done. Also, another classic, Evolving Wilds. Sacrifice, get a basic land, put it into play tapped. Uh, Kaisel Corsair, 2 drop, 2-1. Two, uh, has flying as long as it's attacking. Really good and limited. Also, super good and limited. Bombard. Uh, 4 damage to target creature for 3, instant speed. Uh, the worst card ever reprinted for the past 10 years, I think. Blazing Hope, exile target creature with power greater than or equal to your life total. Will not happen until you're almost dead anyway. Uh, this guy, I don't even want to try to... Coffin uh, thank you. Kevin is our uh, dinosaur expert here. Shoot, I am not. I got him. 4 drop, 2, 5, enrage, untap target permanent. Pretty good. Uh, next up, Stormfleet Sprinter. Uh, he's a hidden gem, I think, out of the set. Three drop. Haste and cannot be blocked. This is extremely good. I will use him, definitely. Uh, next, for the rare. Talani's Summoner. Two drop, one one, has Ascend. Uh, whenever attacks, you pay red and X, and you get that many elemental tokens. If you have uh, Exile in the turn, if you have Ascend... You keep him. It's Firecat Boots, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I like him. He, he's a weak number, but I feel like he can be used. And, of course, City's Blessing. Good nice, number. nice. Yeah. Not too bad. Shoot. Still. I don't care. I'm, I'm going for uh, that 4-0, bro. Yeah, go. 4-0. 4 .5. All right, let's see where we're at. We got Divine Verdict. Done. It's pretty good. Spywinder. Good old snake. Orozka Raptor. Uh, Vampire Revenant. It's a 3-1 flyer for 4. Very good limited. Night of the Stampede, making dinosaurs mm. live, man. Uh, recover. Yep. Everybody's favorite. Yeah. Tila Nali's Crown. It is two man enchantment. Uh, it comes into play, deals one damage, and chain a creature, and chain a creature gets plus three, plus zero, and trample. Good old trade off. We're going to do the other one for vampires. Squire's Devotion gives one one. Lifelink, and you get a dude. Yep. Uh, Dead Eye Rig Holler. Four mana if you attack this turn. You get to uh, bounce a dude. Return a dude. That's pretty good. Shatter, another shatter. Yep. A riverwise auger is a four mana two two. Comes into play. You draw three, then put two on top the, of your, your deck. Brainstorm. Pretty much. <laughs> Imperial ceratops. Uh, right. Gaining life. Yep. Pirates pillage four mana as additional cost. <laughs> Discard a card and draw two, create two treasures. It's all right. Good in the what a rubble and riches. Sorry. And then we got crafty cut purse as a rare. Uh, four mana two two flash. If they making tokens, you taking them tokens. Yeah, that's super secret tech right there. Oh yeah, and an elemental card. Yep, and hopefully we get that phoenix in the next two packs because I love that guy. All right. I almost was like Merfolk Cthulhu guy. <laughs> he almost looks like one. We we just saw him in a card. <laughs> All right, Cthulhu Merfolk. All right, Legion Commander or Conquistador. We got that. Sea legs. We got it. That's better. We got it. Naturalize, of course. Uh, moments of craving. There we go. I can. Re he was on the pack. That's what I can remember. Uh, Squire's devotion. We just saw it. Secrets of the Golden City. Gross. Armasaur, gross, Gru also gross, gruesome fate, curious obsession. Now this one, it's a new and common <laughs> we haven't seen. Thrashing Bronodon, cost three. Pay one, sacrifice him, destroy target artifact and enchantment. But he's a three, four. Really good. Uh, really, also really good. Dire Fleet Neckbreaker. Uh, attacking pirates get plus two, plus oh. Three, two, four, four. I like it. And we got a weird pack. Here's a special weird pack. So we did get a foil oh, rare. Man, look at you. Ooh, look at that. Catching up. Four to one. I, I should get one. two points for that since it's foil. No. Atali's Primal Storm, four to 2.5. Six, six for six. Whenever he swings, every player exiles the top card of their library, and you get to play it. 
right there, then and there. Super good. Uh, of course, this will shadow what we actually got, huh? Dun dun dun! Path of Metal. It's okay. <laughs> it's actually the worst. We got another rare here. Uh, you can read it. It's a lot of weird stuff. If they have first strike haste, vigilance, double strike. Uh, whenever you attack with two release creatures with this, you get to flip it. The payoff, though, might be okay. Tower of Triumph. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. If you pay two and tap this, uh, deals two damage to each opponent. And if you pay three and tap this, uh, creature choose a creature at random that attack this turn. Destroy that creature. So it can be slightly worth it, but the it's a lot of stuff. And then, of course, good old treasure. Kind of sad. I really wanted to go 5-0 and nope, on the back nope, pack. Sorry. Gotta, it's all right. I'm just gonna right. leave, I'm just gonna leave that there. Oh, we're all good. You better move that guy. <laughs> Cause we, uh, I better sleeve him real quick before he gets stretched. Well, you better move him. Damn. Cause we we gonna get that fifth pack. That's good. All right. We got the sea legs. Sun colored raptor. I mean, we know that little dude. Yeah. We got all the legion conquistadors. Yeah. Great seal. Uh, Guilt Grove Stalker. It's actually a different common I've not seen. Uh, two yep. one for two. Can't be blocked with power two or less. Nice. Uh, we killing some dinosaurs. Yep. Uh, Hunt the weak, which Di has the coolest art ever. Dinosaurs killing everyone else. Yeah. Uh, the pug of dinosaurs. You know. <laughs> Martyr of dusk. Replace himself. He yep. all right. Yep. Impale, killing well, dudes. Not too bad. Stormfleet swashbuckler. We've seen this dude before. Yep. A relentless raptor. It's a 3-3 three, three for 2. With vigilance and it attacks or blocks each combat. Really good. Uh, Daring Buccaneer. Yeah. He's a 2-2 two, two for 1. And you reveal a pirate or he costs 3. Very good. I guess I failed. I got another champion at dusk. <laughs> I mean, you, you can play vampires. Oh, yeah. And then we got a foil uh, hardy veteran. Not a foil rare. But yeah. a foil nonetheless. And a treasure. Bam. That was all 10 packs there. I uh, hope you enjoyed this unboxing, unboxing, unboxing of a fat pack here. Uh, obviously, we came out pretty well overall. Primal Storm, we got a Trap Jaw Raptor, and an Elemental Token, which I will love. Yeah. Not this guy? No, not that guy. All right. Uh, this has been a video of Geektopia Island. My name is William. And I'm Kevin. Hopefully, uh, you all enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and keep up to date with our future content. And please join us on our social media and check us out on Twitch.